The PAC RMX engine has two engine drive belts located at the front of the engine. These belts are micro V belts and are referred to as PK7 and PK9. The PK7 and PK9 belt refer to the number of ribs within that belt. So the 7 would have 7 ribs and the 9 would have 9 ribs. PK7 drives ancillary components such as the AC compressor and the alternator. The PK9 belt drives major components such as fan drive and water pump drive. I'm going to run you through the belt routing. First of all, PK7. PK7 travels around the main crank pulley. It travels beneath the spring-loaded tensioner, over the AC pulley, over the alternator, across the idler pulley, and back to the crank pulley. You'll notice here the spring-loaded tensioner. This will ensure that constant pressure is maintained on PK7. Now for PK9. PK9 travels around the crankshaft, around the spring-loaded tensioner, around the water pump drive, underneath the idler pulley, across the fan drive, and back to the crankshaft. The tensioner for PK9 is located at the bottom idler. To remove and replace these belts, you will notice that there is a locating hole for PK7 tensioner and there is a locating hole also for the PK9 tensioner. The method for replacing these belts is to compress the tensioner and install a locating pin in the locating pin hole. This will keep the tensioner in a compressed state. Once the belt is changed, remove the locating pin and relax the tensioner onto the belt. This will maintain belt tension. This is the same for PK9. With PK9, we will compress the tensioner spring. We will fit a locating pin in the locating pin hole and relax the tensioner. Once the belt is changed, remove the pin and relax the tensioner onto the belt to maintain belt tension. When checking drive belts, check the inside of the drive belts on the micro V ribs and ensure that there is no damage such as nicks, cuts, abrasions or fraying. If so, ensure that the belts are changed. Belt life is determined by the pointer being within the window of each tensioner.